best friend. What's going on everybody? It's Devin with No Cap Basketball and today uh, before we get into the video I just want to make uh, you know say a couple things real quick. Uh, first I'd like to just say um, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet um, please subscribe. Uh, mine and Hunter's goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of uh, March. Uh, we really want to see this channel take off and um, we feel like um, if there's a lot of people that don't watch our videos that haven't hit the subscribe button so even if you're not new, you just haven't subscribed yet, um, please hit that subscribe button. Um, it'll help us out more than you guys know. Um, also, hit the like button on the videos if you enjoy them. Um, that also helps our video get, um, you know, a better chance to have it getting recommended and getting more views and, you know, just helping this channel grow even more. So, uh, just hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, please. So, uh, right into the video, uh, basically what we're going to be talking about here is... Um, why Lonzo Ball is a legitimate candidate for uh, Defensive Player of the Year. Um, as I don't, if you're a Lakers fan or you've been watching the NBA, you've seen that since Lonzo's gotten out, the Lakers have gone uh, to become one of the you know not a very good team in the NBA. Uh, they aren't playing well defensively. Um, it's not really necessarily offensively that there's is that is their issue. It's um, mainly just defense. And I have a couple stats here I'm going to tell you um, before I like get into my opinions and whatnot. Um, these are from Unique Sports on Twitter. Uh, they basically cover a lot of the Lakers and stuff like that. And they have some really good stats. So basically, um, the first one is that the Lakers were a top 10 defensive team um, when Lonzo Ball is playing. And now that he has been out here for an extended period of time, they have become the worst defensive team in the NBA. So they have the worst defensive rating in the NBA uh, without Lonzo Ball when they were top 10 with him. Um, another stat um, that I have is Lonzo, when he's guarding uh, just point guards in general, they have shot 33.6% um, versus him on 47 games. And then all-star point guards have shot 31% versus him in the 15, in 15 games that he's gone up against an all-star point guard. Uh, so basically, he is holding point guards, and especially even all-star point guards, to a really low shooting percentage. I mean, they're shooting 31% and for the all-stars and 34% uh, for just the regular point guards. Um, so that's that's a huge um, that's a huge uh, benefit that he gives to the Lakers uh, that they have somebody that can shut down uh, the other team's point guard. Um, another thing that I have is just kind of a quote from Kyle Kuzma. Uh, he was talking about the Lakers defense and he said I think getting Lonzo back into the mix is definitely one thing um, He's had a hell of a season defensively and we kind of feed off him He's picking up 94 feet getting stops over the floor and he has a great defensive instincts uh, And then the final thing that I have to say is another stat is the Lakers um, Average points allowed per quarter with Lonzo ball are 26 points a quarter and then when they have um Lonzo, when Lonzo's out, they give up 32 points a quarter. Uh, so basically, you're giving up six more points a quarter. Six times four is 24 points. So uh, without Lonzo Ball, you're giving up 24 points um, more per game than when you do have him on the floor. And that's a huge impact. I mean, that's a team scoring 140 points compared to Lakers scoring, uh, or compared to the Lakers keeping him to 120 points when he's on the floor. So um, basically, he is a legitimate candidate for the Defensive um, uh, Player of the Year award. Even the Lakers know that they need him on defense. I think they've began to realize here that without Lons on the floor, um, they don't have um, nearly as good of a defense um, as when he is on the floor. Basically, when Lons on the floor, it's more of just an energy thing. You know, people are always trying to knock him, saying that he, um, he doesn't like show a lot of emotion, stuff like that. But he still brings a lot of energy to the team. I mean, you sit there on the defensive end, you're watching a point guard pick up the other point guard for 94 feet, um, getting steals um, just right off the bat, you know, picking their pocket and get a steal and going for an easy dunk. Uh, that's going to bring more energy to the team. That's going to get uh, make you want to play defense. You're like, holy crap, this guy's up here guarding the guy full court, um, you know, getting steals, getting blocks. I got to pick it up. I got to start playing defense and get more intense on defense. And um, that just raises the whole team's defensive, um, you know, just raise the whole team's defense in general. So um, I think Lonzo is, you know, a legitimate candidate for a defensive player of the year. 
And I think more people are going to see that once he comes back, that the Lakers are going to become uh, one of the top defensive teams again in the league. And he's going to prove that, um, you know, people, when he came into the draft, they said that he um, was a liability on defense. He has already been proven that he that is not the case, that he's the best um, defensive point guard in the league, if not one of the best defensive players in the league. Um, so, yeah, just leave it in the comments down below what you think, if you think he's actually a legitimate defensive player of the year. And if you don't think he is, uh, leave in the comments down below who you think is going to win that award if it's not Lonzo. Because, um, you know, Lonzo's, I think, is definitely in the uh, at the head of that race uh, for that award. So leave in the comments down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And see you in the next one. Peace.